these two are going to have a baby. This one now looks like this and finally, this fat bitch is still sitting in front of the camera talking shit. Today's video is super chill. We'll be eating some good food, talk about life, and you will get to know more about this dumb shit. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Karan and I am back with a new video. Today I thought I'd just sit down, have some good food, talk to you guys about what's going on in my life and what's going on in your life and really get to know you guys more. Even though I can't really speak to you all through this video, but I want you guys to know me more and hopefully... If you're watching this video, pause it right now, go grab whatever snack is in your reach. Let's just sit down and talk. It's just you and me, it's all about the good vibes. The Uber Eats guy might be down right now, so I'm gonna go rush. Pick that up so I can come back and talk to you guys. Live boy liquid hand wash the 99.9% ketanos is fresh as if the second may. Wow, you guys, I feel like I am doing one of those mukbang videos. It's low key. Mm -hmm. I look absolutely fuggles when I eat, so please excuse me. I got the spicy crunch chicken burger with a double patty. So, quick life update. So if you do not know this from my previous videos, I have been in Dubai for two months now. I've been stuck here. I really thought I would come here for two weeks and I would get over. But it's been two months now. I'm still here. You know, since I've come here, my appetite has gone from here to here. And I'm becoming so, so fat. I simply cannot refuse. Like, let's eat the food and eat it. Bon appetit. I face on my parents once every four, five days. And whenever they pick up the phone, my mom literally laughs in my face. She's like, your cheeks are hanging. Seriously, you don't say hi, you don't say how are you. She literally just says, Excuse me, mom. Are you back in your own son? I know everyone's gonna come out of this thing like Shrek and Fiona, but I am getting really insecure because I have been there and I have been really towards the heavier side. It took a lot of hard work for me to lose all that weight and I don't want to gain it back because I don't want to go through the entire process of dieting and workouts. If you're one of those people that simply keeps eating and just does not gain weight, can we like exchange a few organs? Anyways, this burger. It's fucking good, so YOLO. Other than that, life is great. And I've done basically three other things in this last month, okay? Number one, I've really fallen in love with Madison Beer. I don't know how I never discovered this gorgeous human being called Madison Beer because her music is so nice. She's an angel. Number two, I got on TikTok. And number three, my favorite, I watched a show called Do Hot To Handle. You know what's common about all three things? They ruin your self-esteem. They put you your self-esteem. I just had no idea about this whole thing, TikTok. And since I got so bored during quarantine, I got on TikTok. And now, I am obsessed. Like, there is no going back. So now that I'm a TikToker, I'm getting really familiar with all these TikTok trends and all these millennial things. Like the hype house and who child the is and who are sisters and who are mothers. Guys, guys, guys. Very sad joke. Whenever I see little Haddi on TikTok, I can really think of one thing because Haddi means born in Hindi, right? <laughs> if you're on TikTok, you know this app is a sinkhole. You sit down on the app at like 12 o'clock thinking you'll just spend like 20 minutes. Next thing you know, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. How bro only for everyone behind was as short as a TikTok, life would be great. You guys have to let me know what you are doing during quarantine because my online exams are coming up and they end on the 19th of May and after that basically I'm clueless about what I'm going to be doing with my time, okay? Yeah, like how much can you sleep? Like how much can you sit on Netflix? I'm trying to keep myself busy with YouTube during quarantine because I would also to you guys that in four years I've only put up like 35 videos on YouTube. Yeah, so I find it really hard to sit on Netflix for hours and hours and watch one show like binge watch because that's just not me I get so bored so as you know Money High season 4 came out and even though it's one of my favorite shows I've just not gotten myself to sit down and watch it however things were different with the show called Too Hot to Handle because the show is so steamy and I don't know why they just stopped at 8 episodes like I wish they dragged this to like 16 episodes because honestly I would sit and watch this show it was so interesting so anyways my favorite people on Too Hot to Handle were David and Francesca you know when Francesca walks in you think she's gonna be like this basic LA bitch she's not she's actually so smart so I really really liked her and I really like David also because that's the kind of wingman you should have I also watched a Spanish movie called Platform if you not watch this movie watch it the concept is insane and I know this is a bit old now but while I was coming here on the flight with my friend Lara we sat and we spent the whole flight watching Elite season 3 which guys like Wow. Like who writes this show? I wanna find that person and <laughs> Elite is my favorite show in the entire world. My burjo is almost over. So I'm gonna get on a conversation which basically was the initial purpose of this video. 
Okay, so obviously recognize the fact that coronavirus is a real thing. There are people dying, people are financially struggling, people are losing their jobs. And there's just so much uncertainty behind all of this. And it's crazy that this is even happening. Anyway, so I don't want you to feel like I'm victimizing or complaining about my situation. I'm just simply sharing it with you guys. You know, this is a global pandemic and everything. I'm just complaining about it. I mean, I can just, there's no way to do anything about it. But it has been a struggle and I've had my downs in the past 60 days in terms of my mental health and my well-being. The reason I'm telling you this is because unknowingly this pandemic might be affecting your mental health and you won't even know it. You know when you're living abroad and you go to university you are so used to living alone and doing everything by yourself. So now I'm just feeling very useless because I have nothing to do and there are so many people around me which I'm really not used to. Who knows, I would have probably been in a much worse situation if I was alone in France. But obviously I keep reading all these articles about mental health during the pandemic and which is so true and like so important to talk about. These are the stages unknowingly or knowingly that affect your mental health, okay? First, everyone is talking about the news, Corona, 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 it's getting so much importance. You cannot talk about anything except that. So during that phase, I got so addicted that I kept reading news articles about Corona. I kept refreshing numbers to see how many people have the case, how many people have been treated. And that just drained my brain, okay? Consuming so much information about one thing that you get borderline obsessed with it. So every few days, I would just sit down and cry thinking about what's happening and how uncertain everything else is. I have no idea where I'm going to be going next. I have no idea if I'm going to Mumbai, if I'm going back to France. I'm so, so uncertain about the future, just like everyone else is. So whoever, wherever you are and you're watching this, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. Try new hobbies, try playing the guitar, try waking, do whatever you like, but just try being occupied. Because at this point, no one knows how much longer this is going to last, right? If you are struggling with your mental health or if you just want random ideas or if you just need someone to talk to, hit me up on Instagram DM and I will speak to you guys. I know I'm one of the smallest YouTube creators out there, but as this channel hopefully grows, I really want this to be a place where I can voice my problems and my opinions freely without the fear of being judged. And so can you and, and somehow we can all find a way to help each other out with our problems and talk about everything so freely, you know what I mean? So yeah, I've never really made a video like this where I've just sat down and spoken to you guys so freely without a script or without a single idea. So I hope you guys enjoy this quarantine and chill session. Do leave a comment below, do leave a like below and do subscribe to my channel. I am trying to make videos for you every week. This is what TikTok does to you. And I will see you guys soon with a new video. Till then, love you, bye.